All right, Caleb and Lauren, this is a <coughs> obviously a video for you. I'm not going to be using one of the tubas because I'm trying to stick with as many of the instruments that only I use as possible. Uh, so, but I mean, basically same thing. Uh, so this is just a way for me to communicate uh, what <coughs> I want y'all to be working on. <coughs> Excuse me. What I want y'all to be working on. Uh, over these next couple weeks while we are out, uh, I feel like this is just a good way to uh, get those specifics uh, worked on. So, first, we're going to take a look at pictures at an exhibition. So, biggest thing about pictures at an ex exhibition is making sure that you don't get lost, because I know we tend to have some troubles with uh, getting lost. Something that can help with that is really just kind of going through the music, playing along with the recording that's on YouTube. Uh, I highly recommend doing that for everybody uh, during during this time. Uh, I want you to take a look at 118. So at 118, we are back to cut time. Uh, remember, that basically just means that half notes get the beat. So at 118, sit down. And then it uh, changes into 3-2. All that happens is just three four, except the half note gets the beat. So those quarter notes are just like eighth notes. Bum 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 bum. And those half notes, those dotted half notes, uh, beat and a half. Bum bum. So I'm gonna run over that part with a metronome so that we know where the beat happens. Now let's see. We're gonna slow it down to the half note beat. So, if you're not practicing with the metronome, download a metronome and practice with it. So that's what I uh, need to hear there. I'll do that one time. Very good. And then at the very end, we uh, slip back to 4-4. Four, four. Uh, it should keep basically the same beat. So we are in 4-4, four, four, and we want to make sure that we come in right on beat 3, and then we are off on beat 1. Uh, during measure 132. So we have rest, rest, ba, 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 ba. and we want to make sure that uh, at the very end there that we are starting off softer and then growing to the end. Very good. So uh, I am also going to post a video of myself conducting these pieces uh, so we can also practice uh, while looking at my hands what I'm going to be doing. We now go on over to Great Movie Adventures. We're going to start at the beginning. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This part we, at the beginning, measures uh, four, five, six, all that. It, you need to practice it with a metronome. If you're not practicing with a metronome, you're just guessing where the beat is, and guessing where the beat is is not going to help you. It's not going to help me. It's not going to help anybody. So practice this part with a metronome, please. Just like what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and start at the very beginning so that you can kind of hear uh, exactly what I want to hear. And that's where I have a page turn, but it's a good uh, place to stop. Notice in measure nine, bum 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 bum. It's just the B flat scale. So if you have the B flat scale down, you can play it frontwards, backwards, sideways. 
Uh, if you're not to that point, you need to get to that point because the B flat scale is not going away. Uh, and that would make that so much easier. It's just starting on G. Sounding fuzzy today. But yeah, so practice that part with the metronome. That's what I want to hear there. If you move on to uh, while you're in ET, just make sure you realize it's just changing meter. Uh, yeah, it's just changing the uh, time signature every measure. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can kind of keep up with that a little easier. I know it's just an E flat over and over again, but uh, the biggest issue there is just making sure that we don't uh, get lost. Uh, you cannot check out during this part. Um, if you check out, you're going to get lost, and that would just be no good. And then at the very end, you want to make sure that you're nice and loud. You're the moving line there. Everybody else is just holding out whole notes and half notes. So at the very end, at measure 94 is where I'm at. Want that to be big and loud. <laughs> to come out a lot. Okay, so good. So let's move on to Havana. Good old Havana. Y'all are doing really well, really good here. Uh, again, our biggest issue is just making sure that we are staying on top of the beat, not slowing down. Best way to do that, metronome. <laughs> And you get the, the idea. Uh, we do want to take a look at what measure is that? Measure thirty-nine. The only place where it changes. Uh, it says piano there. Don't play piano. Uh, we do want to hear the clarinets over you, but uh, I mean, you can play probably mess up piano right there. And you know that part. So. Uh, I hope this helps. Psalm 42 is going well. Something is going pretty well. Uh, make sure that you're practicing all the music and not just kind of running through and not really doing much else. Uh, but yeah, so that is what I want you all to be working on over the weekend. Uh, I'll probably post some extra videos to, uh, depending on what all feedback I get from you. If there's something that you really need me to go over or uh, clarify, send me an email, send me a text. Uh, and if it's something that you think that I need to play for you, just let me know, and I'll, I'll do my best to try to get another video out here. All right, thank you.